Well, you guessed it. Thailand has done a complete 180 on the entry regulations yet again. So in case you missed it, last October 2022, Thailand went ahead and lifted all regulations on getting into the country as far as the big C word goes. You used to have to have a Thailand pass, which was their like certification that you had certain requirements, that you hadn't been sick, that you had a vaccination. You had to prove vaccination when you showed up. You had to have a certain amount of travel insurance in case you got sick while you were in the country. But on October 1st, 2022, they went ahead and lifted all those regulations. It was wide open. Everybody was back to normal until this past weekend. Then this past weekend, things went ahead and change because China has opened up. They've opened back up for tourism. People are leaving the country of China again. So Thailand was getting a little worried. They're like, well, we might need some regulations to make sure that people coming into the country have their vaccinations and all that. So this past weekend, the travel administration of Thailand went ahead and set forth some more requirements. You were gonna have to prove that you were vaccinated upon arrival and you were gonna have to prove that you had travel insurance. Now they got rid of the Thailand pass in this press release, but you were still gonna have to prove those other two things before you got into the country. Now. They went ahead and changed their minds again, less than 48 hours later. This all changed yesterday. There was a press conference with the Prime Minister of Health and Travel, and they came out and said some other things and kind of changed their minds yet again. So at this time, there's only a couple articles that have come out so far talking about what happened in this press conference, which is funny considering a press conference, you think everybody would have an article on it. But the two main ones that I've read so far were from Reuters and then the TAT website itself, and that's the Travel Administration of Thailand. So that seems like a pretty reputable source. So just like in the previous video, we're just gonna kind of peruse through this article, kind of pick it apart and see what exactly is going on now on, I believe today is the 10th. Yeah, Tuesday, January 10th. So this will be the regulations moving forward. Jumping straight into the article, this is from Reuters. Article is titled, Thailand U-turns on COVID vaccination rule for visitors. I wanna preface this by saying this is obviously translated. So there might be some sentences that sound a little bit funky, but I'm just gonna read it as is. Bangkok, January 9th, Thailand has rescinded an entry policy announced at the weekend requiring visitors to show a proof of a COVID-19 vaccination. Its health minister said on Monday, citing sufficient immunization levels in China and globally. The health minister said checking evidence of vaccinations was inconvenient and a panel of health experts had agreed to withdraw the new rule, which was announced on Saturday by aviation authorities at head of an expected deluge of visitors from China where COVID-19 cases have surged. So we probably all know what this is actually about. Um, I don't think it being inconvenient was really the reason for them not wanting to do this, especially if you think about a vax card is this big, it can go right in your passport, hand your passport, check your vax card. Doesn't really seem like it would add too much time, but this is probably has a lot to do with the tourist industry, which makes sense. Moving forward, the minister said those not vaccinated would also be granted entry without restriction. They've done a complete 180, that's for sure. Quote, showing proof of vaccination would be cumbersome and inconvenient, and so the group's decision is that it's unnecessary, end quote, the prime minister told reporters. One of Asia's most popular travel destinations, Thailand, is enjoying an influx of visitors during its peak season since the removal last year of tight entry restrictions that had caused its tourism sector to collapse. So it sounds like they are definitely leaning on that they're trying to keep things for convenient for everybody, but I'm sure we all know that this has to do with money. Money makes the world go round. It's, it's just how it has to go. Moving forward, in November, it recorded 1.75 million visitors, quadruple the number for the whole last year when flights and foreign arrivals were limited. So in one month after they had ended the restrictions like we talked about in October, they got four times as many visitors in that one month than they had the whole year prior when Thailand was still open, but everything was restricted. Continuing on, China has been crucial for Thailand, accounting for about a quarter of its annual visitors before the pandemic. The minister said the government was now expecting seven to 10 million Chinese Chinese visitors compared to an earlier 5 million estimate. So they're expecting double the amount of normal Chinese foreigners that are gonna be coming here to visit, which I totally understand. They've been locked down, they wanna get out. Totally makes sense. The first flight from China arrived in Thailand on Monday with the first group among an expected 3,465 passengers on the first day. Thailand's tourism authority has expected arrival numbers for the last year to have exceeded 11.5 million, just over a quarter of the yearly record of nearly 40 million in pre-pandemic 2019. 
who spent around 1.91 trillion baht or 55 billion dollars. <throat> In 2019, before the big C word, Thailand made 55 billion dollars off of tourism. So, that's a lot of money to say no to. The about face on the vaccine rule follows similar policy U-turns by Thailand during the pandemic that have caused widespread confusion among travelers about its entry requirements. So, they, they've just done the same thing again. And I guarantee that after they made the announcement over the weekend, tons of people already canceled their, you know, flights, hotels, all that stuff. So they keep flip-flopping, which is probably not doing them too many favors anyway. Continuing forward, Thailand will still require foreigners to show evidence of health insurance cover for COVID-19 if their next destination requires a negative pre-entry test. So this still means if you are coming into Thailand, but when you leave, you're gonna be going back into a country that requires a negative test for you to get back in, you're still gonna be required to have travel insurance that covers COVID-19. I also read the article from the actual TAT website, which pretty much said all the same stuff. So they've dropped everything minus the insurance. So if, like we said, if you're going back out and then coming back in, you're gonna have to have that insurance. Besides that, you're pretty much good to go. Even if you walk up and say, I'm not vaccinated, you'll still be fine. Like I said in the previous video, if you are planning on coming to Thailand in the next month or two, I would continue to follow this story closely because as you've already seen, they can do a complete 180 at any time and that can go either way. That could be adding restrictions or taking them away. I'll continue to read up on it and post videos as if new information is coming out. So if you wanna stay updated, feel free to go down, drop a subscribe and a like on the video. That way you get notified when I do upload a new one. It'll show up on your homepage. If you'd like to get a notification, go ahead, click the notification bell. That way you'll know when I do upload a new video pertaining to all this stuff. Even if nothing changes, I'll probably do an update in about a week because I feel like that's the real amount of time for them to just kind of leave it alone. And then we'll really know where we're standing after that. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Tempest TV. We actually just got approved for our membership program today. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can become a member to the channel. This gives you access to exclusive perks, badges for live streams, gifts, all that cool stuff. If you go to the top tier, you'll get a discount on the merch store, which also went live today. And as always, I hope you guys had a great day. I'll see you later. I'll catch you in the next one.